Welcome everyone, Mike with Bowers Barbecue. Coming to you today, just outside of Waco, Texas in Woodway to try Hellberg Barbecue. Hellberg started off as a uh, food truck, now have their own brick and mortar. Really excited to, to show you guys this place. It's so good, I've been here before. I really enjoy it. Let's start the fire. Take a look at this. This looks so amazing. We have lean brisket. We have pork spare ribs, pesto stuffed turkey, and jalapeno gouda. Man, I am so excited about this. I absolutely love gouda. I love turkey, so they added pesto. Let's dig in. So we are still in the midst of a pandemic, so I am eating outside. They do have tables indoors. Um, spaced out so everybody can social distance since i'm by myself i figure why not just head outside to a picnic table and um not take any chances let's dig in though i pride myself on keeping clean hands i hate having to worry about it constantly <laughs> i um uh, i'm ready for this to be over with i know everybody watching is here too all right, first things first, we're going to do this brisket. Look at that. Perfect cut. I love it when the um, lean kind of meets the, the fatty. Get a little bit of both. It's the perfect slice. Pulls apart pretty good. A little tug there, but not much at all. I am not mad about that. Smoky. I um, get a lot of brisket lately where it's got a light hint of smoke. This one here's got a definite smoke flavor and it's awesome. I love this. You know it's been on a real pit. You know it's been smoked on wood. Absolutely amazing without being powerful. I like that a lot. Also, look at this lean. I mean, this has been sitting out for 10 minutes already. It's still, still nice. It's still nice and moist. Man, I love lean. It's so good. So good. It's like the pork spare ribs. Nice color, nice bark. Moises all get out. This is great. Let's take a bite. Perfectly cooked spare rib. I don't know how this is seasoned. Granted, I can taste the salt and pepper, there's something else added in that that I don't know what it is. I have no clue, but I know it's good. This is a damn good rib. I'm going in for another bite. Yep, have zero clue what that flavor is, but I know that I like it. You guys need to get here. See if you can figure it out for yourself. Let me know what you find out in the comments below. Next up, we have turkey. It's moist, a little bit of pesto. You guys know I love my smoked turkey. The pesto kind of um, overpowers the smoke flavor. Let me give that another try. I love turkey. While this is a very good one, it, it's not my favorite that I've had recently, but I would definitely get it again. I would definitely get it on the sandwich. I think that would be more amazing. But um, not my favorite, but still pretty damn good. Next up, do the sausage. You see that Gouda on there? It is made in-house, which is really cool. It's a lot of work to do that, so I always um, appreciate it when barbecue joints do that. Let's give it a taste. Mm. 
Gouda is the best cheese. Absolutely creamy, delicious. Why it was still chopped up, and you can choose. They'll ask you at the cutting table if you want it chopped up or not. I chose to have it uh, chopped up. But even with that, you can tell it's got a good snap on the casing. Very, very good sausage. Different from what you normally find with the, uh, the jalapeno cheddar. This jalapeno gouda is a nice change of pace. All right, I'm going to finish up eating. I'll be back in a minute with a recap. House made pickles are pretty good. Little jalapeno, got a kick. Okay, I am done with my lunch. It was fantastic. I am. I love lean brisket. It is so good. And when somebody does it right, you just gotta appreciate it. That's a skill. Anybody can get the moist or the point and. Um, Nice and juicy, but they had the flat, nice and juicy. Real, real skill, the pit master. And um, this was this was fantastic. I absolutely loved it. Uh, pork ribs, like I said, very good as well. Cooked perfectly, had the right amount of tug. I don't like fall off the bone, as you guys know. It was a perfect bite through texture. I really enjoyed it. Salt, pepper, a little sweetness, but that added flavor, guys, I can't, I can't figure out what it is. I am. Um, Hopefully somebody can figure it out and let me know in the comments below because it is really, really good. Turkey, I hope I didn't sound too harsh on that earlier. I enjoyed it, just not my favorite, but I'd, I'd get it again, uh, especially on a, uh, a sandwich. Um, I, I just, I'm a turkey fool, man. I absolutely love it. Um, this is still good, so I still ate it. A sausage, house-made Gouda instead of cheddar, something different and something fantastic, perfect texture perfect snap I love this place this place is so good so if you're in Dallas if you're in Austin or even here in Waco forward it doesn't matter it's just, it's a short drive perfect thing to do on a Saturday afternoon or Saturday morning like I've done here I got here at 11 o'clock there was about four people ahead of me in line I was um, at the table eating by 1105 so service is fantastic people are super friendly Another bonus, sometimes, let me show you my, one of my favorite things about this place. Sometimes, they have Flores tortillas. If you don't know what Flores tortillas are, they are um, a new company um, started by the people who used to own Flores Barbecue out in uh, Whitney, Texas. They're made with smoked beef tallow. Unbelievable. I'm gonna put a link to an uh, interview they did with Kevin's barbecue joints in the description above. Be sure to check that out. It tells you all about the Flores story and their plans for the future. I uh, honestly, I've heard of Hellberg before, but if it weren't for them stocking tortillas, I probably never would have tried them. Just because while they're not too far off Interstate 35, if I'm this direction, I'm usually heading down to Austin for barbecue. But because of the fact that they stock Flores, I, I checked them out and I'm so glad I did. I'm, I'm an idiot for not doing it before. <laughs> Because this is, this is really good barbecue. So proof that sometimes joint marketing really works out. Okay, so when this video goes up, it'll be the month of September. Now the month of September is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. For those of you who've been watching me for a while know that my daughter, when she was uh, five years old, was diagnosed with orbital rhabdomyosarcoma. Uh, she had to go through chemo, radiation. She is the strongest little girl that I know. So during this month, all my videos, I want to mention a charity that helped us out during the process. And um, if you feel it in your heart to donate, I'll put a link down in the description. But for this video, today's charity I want to spotlight on is a charity called Comfy Cozy for Chemo. And what they do is they provide uh, shirts for children battling cancer. Uh, to administer the chemo, they install a, um, a port into the chest of each child. And this is what they do, they take a big needle they stick it into their chest to access the port so the chemo can get to their bloodstream. Not fun at all for children, <laughs> as you can imagine. Uh, what Comfy Cozy for Chemo does is they provide shirts that um, have buttons that come down so they can easily access the port without having to take their shirt off, without having to wear a, um, a gown. Make something positive out of a really bad situation. Um, with each uh, shirt that we purchase as a chemo family, they'll also donate one. 
like I said in the link below, you can donate directly. It means the world to me. All right, let's go see if we can get a, a tour of the pit room. Let's take a look. Awesome thousand gallon smokers. Temp gauge from left to right. Pretty much shows the same. About 275. Nice pits. So that was definitely worth the two hour drive from the Dallas Fort Worth area. Great food, pretty cool atmosphere considering the, the situation going on with COVID. Like I said, I got a table outside. I was able to social distance without any issues whatsoever. And I also picked up some Flores tortillas. All right, thank you very much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe. The fire is out.